Robbery is like unlocking an unpolished gem with the writing-directing combination from Corey Stanton. Flawed, but well worth looking over to appraise for yourself before buying. Frank is an old-time criminal with over 50 years in the business of theft, but now, in his later stages of life, he suffers from dementia. With his short-term memory impaired, he constantly forgets who his own son is, and has to keep a picture of him pinned up around the house and with him at all time. Richie needs his father to help him as he is struggling to overcome a gambling addiction and has to subsidise his meagre but honest income as a garage mechanic assistant by pulling off small-time robberies from stores and local homes. He is in debt big time with a local casino owner and drug pusher named Roxanne, and she has turned on the red light, as far as Richie is concerned, and of course he cannot turn to the police to help him out. Richie wants Frank to impart his great experience over the years to pull off a big job himself and get Roxanne and her heavies off his back. Time, though, is running out, and when Roxanne takes two of his fingers by means of a flinching scene of hammer to chisel to bone technique and gives him an ultimatum of pay up in full in two weeks or his father and members of his Gamblers Anonymous group, along with his mechanic garage boss, will pay the price for his failure next. Richie meets a young woman of Native American heritage named Winona at the group, and the two have a lot more in common than at first is apparent. The coming together of all feature players delivers a smart twist in the culmination of robbery. This is an intertwining drama with a combat shock conclusion. Richie works hard to rebond with Frank as they pull off many little jobs together in preparation for the big one, which interestingly brings Winona greatly into play and involves the casino as well, which of course is owned by the no-nonsense owner and drug baroness tormenting Richie, Roxanne. There is some wry humour here to the proceedings, as Richie often bumbles through his burglaries, oddly disguised in a bright red woolen woven face mask with a bubble top. His interaction with his father Frank is also equal part poignant, sad and amusing at the same time, as Frank constantly forgets who Richie is on the jobs. But with each job, Frank becomes more alert and his mind ever active. And with the two's bond pledge that they only steal from arseholes and those of an abused privileged position, there is a real charm to proceedings here. It's a well-intentioned and solidly delivered 6 out of 10 melancholic movie done well on a tight budget. A savvy, slow burn, duplicitous drama with elements of the grifters, the sting, a memento, and a terrific performance from Art Hindle as Frank. There is a good deal of viewing pleasure to be pulled from this movie. Robbery, most likely though, won't appeal to the mainstream masses and luxury theatre seat occasional movie goers. But for those who appreciate the art of drama, the reward here with robbery is in how Art Hindle steals every scene and how the story twists and turns with each unfolding act. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.